where do you think we begin to heal this problem where large amounts of the Republican Party think the election was stolen, think everything is rigged against Trump? They're basically so disillusioned to a point where it's delusion. Yeah. Um, it's going to take him, to, I think, for Trump just to literally disappear. It's not every day that you hear a Republican voter openly say this about the party's dictator. Uh, it's a bad thing to say, but yeah, he's just got to disappear. And then they just got to say, OK, we need to come together because as a whole, this country is divided. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take some time, unfortunately, to heal. So if the lineup ends up being Donald Trump versus Joe Biden in 2024, who do you choose? Biden. Really? Yes. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I think the Republicans need to take a good hard look at Trump. A lot of them don't believe this up, but I think he did do some wrong things. It really says a lot about the sad state of our country if we're this surprised to see a Republican voter criticize the party's full and embrace of Trump and his policies. But this man is, according to Adam Mockler, a high school history teacher. So if that's the case, he hopefully saw the writing on the wall and history repeating itself in real time. And I know a lot of teachers. I don't know any who want guns. I know a lot who just want like markers and shit, you know. <laughs> Comedian and high school English teacher Liz Blank is seeing the effects of Republican policy decisions in real time herself. If I get a school issued Glock, <laughs> well, I'm still buying my own post-its. <laughs> I'm taking that gun. I'm holding up a Staples. <laughs> and I'm getting what I need to do my job. While hilarious in this context, this is the cruel reality far too many of our public school teachers face nationwide. And yes, the Dems share responsibility for letting short-term profits take precedent over creating a robust public education system. But Republicans have made the erosion of public education one of their primary policy goals for decades now, leading more and more teachers to feel like this. Teachers make thousands of little micro decisions every day. So that's why like the decision fatigue is real after school. When you're trying to figure out what to eat for that, man, I don't even care. Put the pizza in the oven. It was in the freezer. Mama, can we go to McDonald's? Yes, because I don't want to have to make another decision. I'm happy you suggested McDonald's because I was going to drive straight to the house. I forgot about the food because I don't want to have to make another decision. I drove home on all autopilot because I hear the screams of y'all's child's voices in the silence of my car because they just scream and holler at each other all day long. Nine years ago, I posted a story on my Facebook that said Florida governor proposes $50,000 a year state minimum wage for teachers. And there was hundreds of comments about time. Yay, $50,000. In 2013, $50,000 is roughly equivalent to a $66,000 salary today. Not great considering where we are as a country. And yet this is one of the most important job sectors in this country. But once again, these types of people see no value in education unless it's their specific flavor. Are you uncomfortable by what you're seeing with Christian nationalism being brought into this? That's one of the reasons I'm a strong Trump supporter. Uh, I feel like this country is founded on the basis of religion, free speech, and, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's all going away under, under this rep, uh, democratic regime. Uh, I, I feel like in, in what way? Can you describe that? Well, yes. I mean, when, when you have federal forces uh, checking out Catholics to see, see if someone's trying, trying to conspire against the country, uh, right down to the, to the school system as a former, former school board member, I felt, felt like that was a shame that what, what these pe people did to, to, to the school board attendees, parents wanted to see what's going on in the school system. And the same with the, with the, with the uh, uh, our religion. Uh, religion should pl play no part in the government trying to interfere with it. And uh, this, this crowd does. Uh, so uh, uh, again, uh, if it, I would go back and say, if John F. Kennedy were, were running as president now, he would have a hard time winning from, from this liberal left. Uh, we do not know who that party is anymore. We're taking faith lessons from Russia right now. Right now, I mean, I personally homeschooled my kids all the way through. Probably shows. Probably shows. Um, but we're taking faith lessons from Russia right now. Don't tell kids that are born, have always been born male and female, will always be born male and female, can only interact biologically as male and female. 
Don't tell them they're 61 genders. Don't tell them to cut anything off and stitch any dead meat back onto their skin and it's gonna make them a male. Here's your dead meat, it makes you a male. That, that, that's garbage. And Russia knows that? Are you, are, you're, out of, you're out of your stinking mind that Russia knows that in my lifetime, I'm under 60, barely, that I know that, that Russia knows that. You can't, you can't groom kids. You can't have kids online connected with a mentor that's gonna tell them how normal it is to get naked in front of people. To, I mean, we have groomers in the schools. I mean, there's case after case after criminal case. I, I'm not making this up. Well, yes, you are making all this stuff up, continuing to justify your disgusting bigotry towards the trans people and the broader LGBTQ plus community. Be sure to check out the Board Teachers Comedy Group in the description box below, especially if you're an educator yourself and support your local school district's teachers union if they have one. Our country's future depends on it. If there are any stories we missed, if there are any that you, the viewer, would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. DMs are open. Support the channel. All of our content is free. It's the least you could do. Become a paid channel member and or go to tyt.com join to support the network as a whole. Thank you so much. Have a great day.